after sunrise and a much needed midday nap, I hopped on my bike and headed further down the coastline in hopes of photographing sunset. And in the meantime, I decided to take a shot at wildlife photography, specifically those seabirds that hang on the cliffside. These are by any chance not award-winning wildlife photographs, just a way to kill the time waiting for sunset. Now these seabirds are really interesting to observe and quite itchy at times. After attempting to be a wildlife photographer, I went back to the business of landscape photography. I got my camera set up and my composition set up and my filters set up. And suddenly, within a minute, something interesting happened. A busload of people headed down the beach, so I decided to retreat from photography for the meantime and decided to have my supper while waiting for the crowds to leave. Well, finally cleared up here. For a while there, it was like jam-packed with people all around me. And I'm kind of an introvert, like I can't... I don't do well around people, I like to take pictures when I'm solo. Plus, right where I have my composition, people were standing in my shot. And it's fine because they want to enjoy this too and take pictures. So I'm gonna enjoy my mountain chili here, which is about getting ready. And what also happened, I'm gonna kind of just sit and enjoy sunset here. And if I see something interesting, I'll, I'll set up again and take a picture. I still see a nice composition here, so I went back and set my camera up. It's still, the tide is still relatively low that I'm still getting those interesting rocks in the foreground showing up. And it's a quite, quite nice composition, I quite like it, so I'm happy that I'll end up with the photo from here, from today. You know, that's the goal after all, to get some pictures. So I still have my... Uh, polarizer on and I'm only using it to kind of remove the glare off the rocks in the foreground and I got a two-stop top grad and D just to kind of balance out the sky that's only all the filters I'm using that's all I need and you know I'm just taking pictures here and there as I usually do and hopefully one of them is gonna be a winner so I'm shooting this at uh, ISO 50 at uh, f11 at 1.3 seconds you know. and it's giving me the nice effect with the water with just softening it up a bit the water is kind of choppy so I want it to be soft and I want it to have that soft feeling well I think I got an interesting picture here that I can use I'm just gonna wait a few minutes to see if that glow that pink glow across the horizon gets a bit more intense but I think I have the picture and I think a few more minutes here, then I'll head back. Well, I think I got the picture here that I want. I think it's kind of safe to say that I can have that. I mean, the picture that I got is nice. It can always be better, of course, if it had more clouds in the sky, it'd be interesting. But since I framed my shot in a way where I'm showing most of the foreground and not so much the sky, I kind of worked around it, but it can always be better for sure. So yeah, so th that's just another day taking pictures here. And I pretty much have tomorrow morning left for sunrise, you know, where I'm gonna get up probably go down back to the beach where I'm camping or maybe come here I haven't decided yet and try to see if I can get a better picture so yeah we'll see what tomorrow brings before finishing off and heading back to my third stop on this trip which is gonna be Big National Park about five hours going back towards Montreal it's a little pit stop halfway also I'm gonna you know camp for two nights pretty much have like two full days there and do some photography you know 
depending on the weather and situation how it is. Yep. So thank you guys for coming along and I'll see you next time. Hopefully tomorrow. Cheers. The next morning I slept through sunrise, climbed down from my rooftop home, packed up my tent and headed towards Big National Park. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.